significant winter storm on the way for Monday and likely into the daytime on Tuesday, but it's quiet out there now. Let's get a look at live Doppler. It's no problems. We've got dry skies. Uh, where is the storm? Well, it's way out here in the middle part of the country. You can see uh, actually some thunderstorms on the southern side of it right in here. Look at all the snow overspreading Chicago all the way back into North Carolina, Virginia. Even Washington, D.C. may make out pretty well with this storm, but uh, it's a pretty uh, impressive looking storm right now. I think it kind of loses its punch over the next 24 hours then kind of re-strengthens a little bit on Monday. Threat tracker for tonight and Sunday looks quiet. Monday, that's when we've got uh, that winter storm watch in effect. Snow, rain, sleet, some strong winds expected. Temperatures right now are in the single digits to teens. Uh, coldest out in southeastern Mass. 18 in Providence, 18 Newport, 16 in Westerly. Great view of the Newport Bridge here. We've got crystal clear skies, but it certainly is cold and it feels cold. Temperatures now down to 18. Wind chill of 8 degrees in Newport. Elsewhere, Smithfield 12 feels like 4 Four degrees at the moment with a light wind from the northwest. Quiet across the northeast. So again, there's that storm area of low pressure out across Missouri. This whole storm system works its way on off to the north and east. We'll see the snow develop out ahead of it Monday morning. Let's take a look at it through the daytime tomorrow. Hour by hour forecast. You can see how the, the uh, organization of the storm kind of falls apart a little bit through the daytime tomorrow. I think it kind of, as I mentioned, kind of reorganizes on Monday. Three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We're we're dry, but lots of clouds around, and then we're going to be staying dry into Sunday evening. We'll get back to that hour by hour and talk about the snow in a moment. Forecast for the overnight lows down to eight. Another frigid night under mainly clear skies for tomorrow. We're looking at sunshine to start the day and then the clouds roll in about 29 degrees for a high winds. Not much of an issue tomorrow. Let's jump ahead into that storm. Now here we are taking you into Monday morning, seven, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. The light snow begins to overspread the area. The heaviest of the snow, I'm thinking mid afternoon and through Monday evening, but something else to note. We've got some warmer air trying to come on in some sleet and rain likely taking over for a time uh, Monday uh, afternoon and Monday evening, especially across southeastern Massachusetts and southern Rhode Island, and that will keep accumulations down. Here's what I'm expecting. Generally 6 to 10 inches north and west of I-95 in Rhode Island, south of there, 3 to 6. That includes Fall River, New Bedford, Newport, down into westerly Providence, probably uh, around 6 to 8 inches. That's what I'm expecting now, a lot less across Cape Cod and the island. So again, the timeline, snow develops, mostly light Monday morning, heavier snow after 3 o'clock with some mixing, winds picking up as well, some wind gusts, uh, 35, 45 miles an hour across Rhode Island, maybe gusting to 50 out on Block Island. So the wind will also be an issue. Could be some power outages. We're looking at a heavy wet snow, lighter snow late Monday night, and it winds down slowly through the daytime on Tuesday. Seven-day forecast. You can see that storm Monday into Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday, we are looking at drier weather. Notice the temperatures beginning to warm up a little bit, getting into the mid 40s, the end of the week, but also the chance for some rain showers there. Chelsea. All right, today, thanks. Coming up in sports, a 